Hi, Allure. I'm Gabrielle Sidibe, and I'm going to show you my 10 minute beauty routine. I start with Ancestral Whisper. It's a hand and body oil. It's uh, got almond oil, rose oil, jasmine, and amber, and their essence of oils and friendship. Literally, it says that, friendship. I just put a little on my hand. I rub it in over my face for dewiness. Look how dewy I look. Next, I usually start with eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is always super fun. I can wear anything I want because my skin color can kind of carry anything. I usually start with NARS. It's Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's dark one, sure. It's actually not very dark. What I do is I use it on my eyelids to make the color pop. There's a little, okay. Looks like a big old mess already, but <laughs> it's not gonna end that way. We're gonna let it dry a little bit. And while we're doing that, I'm going to consult my beautiful Pat McGrath eyeshadows. Let's live a little, right? This color there, I actually use it quite a bit. And I'm just gonna go over my eyes. Either pack it on because of the concealer. Also, I should mention that I don't know how to do my makeup, but let's see what happens here. I just be playing, I'm not doing anything. So I really started wearing makeup when I became an actress. Like I was 24, I was on the set of my first film and I had really never worn makeup. And if I did wear it, I wore it wrong. There was uh, some like wet and wild blue eyeliner that I used as eyeshadow because I had no idea what liner meant. But thank God I became an actress and they started doing my makeup for me, which is great by the way. It's great when other people do your makeup. Just because again, I don't super know what I'm doing. But do you see how the color is popping because of the concealer? Now, I have several highlighters, but I'm not 100% sure on what they do or why they do it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this Fenty. It's kilowatt. There's like a ginger binge and Moscow Mule. So I'm gonna use the Moscow Mule and I'm just going to dab both sides of my brush. And if that's wrong, again, I don't know. I'm just hanging out and I'm just gonna go up. Now, I feel like I learned a long time ago while watching America's Next Top Model that like for a daytime look, you don't go up there. That's for nighttime. But let's pretend that it's nighttime. See, I'm looking at that and that sort of feels like it's a little light. So I'm gonna go over it with a color that might be more comfortable. Okay, I really do want to use this new palette. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership palette. I'm gonna try this purple. I see that brings that color down some. That feels more comfortable for me. Don't you feel better about this purple now? Okay, so I'm going to line my eyes. I'm going to do it with this Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. So like I have small eyes. For that, I usually try to thicken out a liner to make my eyes appear to be a little longer than they actually are, so. I line up a little bit. I understand that that looks crazy. Don't worry about it, I'm gonna fix it. I really like this. I use it so much that the, the label, whatever it might have been, has rubbed off. But I will tell you where I got it, Amazon. So I'm just gonna use that to go over. And the reason I like this one so much is because I cannot do a cat eye. But this comes with a cat eye stamp. Look at this. So like, if I want to do a cat eye, I just go, boom. You see this? Oh, snap, okay. Wasn't that easy? Cat eye, okay. That's done, that's perfect. What I usually do is I use a very thick mascara. This one is called Better Than Sex by Too Faced and I love it. Feels like it makes my lashes look really, really big. Now usually I use two mascaras. I use Better Than Sex first and then I use Hourglass. I really like Hourglass. Hourglass also makes really good foundation in my skin color. 
I'm done with the eyes. Okay, the eyes are done. It's time for concealer. I'm gonna clean up the places that have more makeup on it than it should. I use two different kinds. I use Bobbi Brown's Chestnut as well as Bobbi Brown's Espresso. So that's number nine and number 10. I love that it's a stick. It's like basically paint by numbers or something, right? So I have like dark under eyes. I always had them and they get darker like in the winter. And so they're not as dark as they usually are, but I still like to lighten them up just a little bit. I usually go over the lighter with the darker, just a little bit. I like to mix it a bit. And then I use a beauty blender. So I really, really love these. They're so great. And then I just doing that. That's starting to look like something in there. And then I congratulate myself. You're doing good, girl. If you're not telling yourself that you're pretty during your makeup routine, then I think you're doing it wrong. Now, here's the thing. When other people do my makeup, they usually put foundation on and everything. I don't like to use foundation. Sometimes it feels like it's too heavy. So like, whatever, all I really need is concealer. And then I use a, this is Mocha Miami by Fenty Beauty. Instant warmth bronzer. I just, you know, I get in there. I make sure the brush is covered. I tap, I tap, and then I go to town. I think the first time I ever got my makeup done, it was for prom. It was like my junior high prom and my mom did it for me. But she did it the way she would have done it with like gigantic red lipstick and I just didn't really like it. And the next time I got my makeup done, I was in a play in college. Nothing happened. I just was, I was kind of petrified having someone that close to my face. And so like when I became an actress, I'm like, I don't think I can do this. I'm gonna freak out every time. But I guess some part of me grew up and it just was okay. And so now my relationship with makeup is very different. I'm not one of those people that's like, I need it. I really enjoy makeup. I love doing different looks and you left my own devices. I'll do a lip and an eyeliner and mascara. This, oh, no, I almost forgot blush. I love Black Up. Black Up is a really, really great company. Look how pretty. That's goddamn pretty. That light is hot pink, come on. I also really like matte. This is faux sure, and it's pinkish and a little gold. What I do is I take this kind of brush, dab, 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 and stamp it, boom, boom. Am I done? Boom, all done. No, not exactly done just yet. You gotta blend it in. So what I do is I take another blush brush, and then I take the faux sure, and just go around the apples of my cheek and up. I don't remember why I do it, but someone once told me that I pull it back to my ear. That feels like a lot of blush, hold on. So I'm just gonna blot it down a bit because like I don't wanna look like a Raggedy Ann doll. So I'm just gonna take it down just a bit for just a tiny bit of color. That's done, That's we're done with that. The face is set. We are on to lips. I love this. This is another Pat McGrath. This is called Night Fever, and it's one of my faves. I use it all the time. In addition to an actress and a writer, I'm also a director. There have been lots of times where I'm on a set, but I'm not necessarily in front of camera, so I don't need makeup, do I? Wrong. I want to look professional, and like I know exactly what I'm doing, and also it's not, see the thing about makeup is it's really really good for your confidence and it also is kind of like a light switch it's like now i'm on the face is on that means i'm on it's all about confidence i'm going for a little bit of a brown look on the lips by the way see okay yes i i don't know i don't know about it sometimes we make mistakes makeup wipes my favorite this by the way is a different color than i used before it's pat mcgrath Oh, it's called 1980. That's cute. <laughs> That's really cute. So this is Pat McGrath. The name is McMinimi. A little bit of a dark lip. This is another brand new Pat McGrath. This is a gloss. Ugh, it's called Flesh. That's a little creepy. But I guess it kind of does look like Flesh. I've never tried it before, so I might hate it as well. But, mm -hmm. oh, Hold on. Okay. Flesh might know what it's doing. Let's just do a, like a really fun look 
Boom. Take it down all together. Let's just try. Let's just try another ear. Is it about this? Yeah, I feel like that's it. So this is the official makeup look. Thank you everyone for watching my 10 minute beauty routine for my brunch look.